After a series of political upheavals, the final part of the construction of Bolivia's most important nuclear facility has finally begun. The Center of Nuclear Research and Technology is being created with the cooperation of Rosatom. So what exactly will this facility give to Bolivia? The Center for Nuclear Research and Technology, CNRT, in Bolivia is also an important experimental project for Rosatom, the first scientific nuclear center abroad, built recently, and the structure is truly unique as construction taking place at an altitude of 4,000 meters. It will be the highest altitude nuclear facility ever built in the world and the most important symbol of the presence of advanced breakthrough Russian technologies in South America and in America in general. The specificity of nuclear scientific research centers is extremely difficult. In fact, these are full-fledged nuclear sites, just a bit smaller than the regular ones and equipped with reactors flow power. It's quite difficult to find difference between scientific research and military development in case of the construction of them. In the past, many projects of such research centers were easily redesigned for purely military purposes. For example, such a story happened to the Israel Nuclear Research Center in Demona in the period from 1957 to 1964 with the assistance of French companies, a 28 megawatt heavy water reactor IRR2 fueled by natural uranium was built there. However, after the construction of the center, Israel refused to transfer it under control of IAEA due to national security issues. According to experts, since then, Demona has been producing for 15 to 60 kg of weapon-grade plutonium annually, which allowed Israel to become an unofficial member of the nuclear club. The history of the research center in North Korea and Yongbyong, where in 1965 the lightwater Soviet pool-type reactor IRT-2000 with a capacity of 2 MW was installed in exactly the same way. Despite the fact that North Korea was a member of the International Agency for Atomic Energy, already in 1975 it received the first 300 mg of weapon-grade plutonium at this reactor. As a member of International Atomic Energy Agency, in 1974 North Korea received charts for a more powerful British gas graphite reactor of the Magnox type, which were in the public domain for members of the organization, after which it built a reactor of this type on its own. As a result, by the beginning of 90s, North Korea had more than 100 kilograms of weapon-grade plutonium at its disposal. That's what allowed North Korea to conduct the first nuclear test in 2006 and officially announce its entry into nuclear club. Due to abuse of research reactors, the necessary restrictions and barriers were immediately introduced to the structure of SINT in Bolivia. The project was divided into two phases. First of them included preclinical cyclotron ready pharmacological complex and a multipurpose radiation center. These two options work with ready made sources of penetrating radiation, particle acceleration, and radioactive isotopes. Since these objects are without controlled uranium decay reactions, they are not source of neutrons and cannot be used to produce weapon grade plutonium. On the basis of PCRK, it's planned to produce radiopharmaceuticals for the diagnosis and treatment of oncological diseases. On the basis of an industrial gamma unit, the ILC will produce medical and agricultural products. The gamma source of ILC will allow sterilization of agricultural products, which is extremely important for agriculture of Bolivia, which suffers from pests and diseases. In the future, Central will ensure widespread use of nuclear and radiation technologies not only in agriculture, but also in medicine, industry, and other important spheres of human life, not only in Bolivia but in whole Latin America. Second port station, the construction of the center implies construction of the reactor complex itself on the basis of research pressurized water reactor with nominal power of 200 kilowatts. Low power of reactor and the use of low and range uranium will make production of weapon grade plutonium almost impossible. Moreover, spent fuel from this reactor will be stored under control of International Agency of Dump Energy. On July 26, Bolivian President Luis Alce and First Deputy General Director of Rosatom Corporation Kirill Komarov took part in the ceremony of pouring the first concrete launching construction of the second stage of the project, a resource reactor. This is our first such major project in Latin America and we are doing everything possible for its successful implementation. Despite all the difficulties, Russia will fully comply with all contractual obligations, said Komarov. So what are those difficulties? Scheduled launch of SINT assumed that the first stage of the complex will be able to start its operations in August 2019 and the research reactor would be launched a year later, in summer of 2020. 
So, what happened? In October 2019, anti-government protests took place in Bolivia. Protesters blamed authorities for a lecture of fraud that was won by President Evo Morales. Under pressure by the military, Morales cancelled the election results and left Bolivia. As a result, a pro-American government came into power, headed by the Vice Speaker of Bolivian Parliament, Janine Agnes. One of the first decisions of new authorities in Bolivia was freezing of the construction of the Center for Nuclear Fuel and termination of cooperation with Rosatom. A year later, an early general election was held in Bolivia, which unexpectedly for government of Janine Agnes was won by supporters of Evo Morales and Movement to Socialism Party. Luis Arce received 55% of votes in the first round and his party members received 73 out of 130 seats in the House of Representatives and 21 out of 36 seats in the Senate. Such a crushing defeat for rebels was fatal for them. Already in March 2021, Agnes and a number of supporters were arrested on charges of 2019 COP against President Evo Morales. Now all of them are under investigation and awaiting trial. One of the first steps of new authorities was the return to the implementation of SID project, which was already on full alert, as well as normalization of relations with Russia and the restoration of cooperation with Rosatom. After all, launch of the center was important for Bolivia, and the decision of Agnes' occupational pro-American government was dictated and based on a direct instruction from Washington. Today Rosatom in Bolivia will implement this extraordinarily important project, which will become an example that nuclear research centers can meet the highest safety and non-profit toleration standards. And of course, we'll wait for new Russian nuclear center in Bolivia to benefit people. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell.